guys, Corey Nees here, gonna be talking about creating your perfect customer avatar. I wanted to show you this real quick. So I think it's pretty neat. This is some random light picture thing I have on the wall. I wanted to talk about something I've been thinking about a lot recently uh, in my own business and um, stuff that I wanted to go over really, uh, teaching people um, who are marketing online and that's really uh, getting inside the mind of your perfect customer avatar and you know before you do that there's a broader thing that you can do which is tapping in, into your target market um, you know knowing who your target audience is very important and it's the first thing that you really need to do when you're starting out marketing online because when you don't do it uh, you have no direction you have no clarity or focus and you have really no freaking clue what you're doing online. And I know because, you know, I used to do that too when I first got started in network marketing about um, about 36 months ago, three years ago, I would just approach anybody, you know, all my buddies, friends, um, people at school. I would just walk up to, I mean, I had the balls to do it. You know, I'd walk up to random strangers and start conversations. I'd cold market prospect people in the malls. I'd you know, I'd drive all around uh, Ohio, out to Fort Wayne, Indiana. I'd go to the malls. I'd prospect, talk to anybody that I felt like looked like someone that could be possibly confident, um, who could be good at the business of network marketing, which was Vima at the time. Um, and then, you know, I'd just have an icebreaker or whatever, and I'd say, hey, um, I don't even know. I, you know, you always, I mean, cold marketing, you know, it's, it's, it's pretty simple. You just really have to have the confidence, the courage to do it, I would say. Um, I wouldn't really recommend doing it, honestly, in today's day and age, unless you enjoy it and you could uh, see yourself realistically using that as a means to build a business over, you know, a long period of time. But, um, you know, if you do that, you know, if you want to do it just to get up the courage or the confidence to help build your business, um, because that mindset characteristic is really the most important thing when it comes to being successful in any business endeavor, and that is just the overall confidence and the conviction that you have in yourself and your abilities moving forward. But all I did was just, you know, give them a quick compliment. I'd be like, hey, you know, nice shoes or nice shirt or whatever, you know, you seem kind of uh, cool. Or I didn't say that, but, you know, I just broke the ice, and then I'd say, um, you know, you seem like a sharp person or whatever after I talked to them for a minute or two. And um, I'd say something like, I'm trying to remember, um, you know, I was wondering if you keep your options open to uh, uh, extra, so, you know, to extra ways of making money because I'm with a company that's expanding in your area. And of course, no matter where you are, you're just always like, yeah, you know, the company's expanding in there because in network marketing, you can expand your company, your business, anywhere you go. So that's what I'd do. And then I'd, I'd get a lot of emails. I'd get a ton of email addresses and phone numbers, and I'd follow up with the prospects and the people. But the whole, the whole, pro, the whole system that I was using, it didn't work really well because I didn't have any relationship with them. To me, all I was was a random dude approaching them in a mall, um, cold market prospecting them, and you know, that's what I was. That's what I did. So it didn't really work out too well to actually like recruit people into my downline and, and build a long term relationship with them. But definitely the biggest thing that I learned from that, you know, which is something that I actually did do a lot of, I probably have like 50 contact leads in my phone still today from doing cold market prospecting. That was just getting up the confidence to approach people, break the ice and have that kind of courage, you know, getting over the fears because it just goes hand in hand with uh, um, just building your business overall, and that's getting over fears, I think, of taking big risks, making decisions. Um, you know, you just need to be fearless in really everything you do when you build a business from home, from, you know, any from anything from writing subject lines that might shock people or be controversial or the way you speak or putting yourself out on video like I'm doing now and sharing it to Facebook, sharing it to YouTube, putting it on your blog. Um, how you prospect people, how you close them over the phone and Skype, all those things take, you know, you to go out of your comfort zone depending on where you're at in your life. And that takes usually years, honestly, to build up that mindset that, you know, that you need that, that mindset that you really need to get to, to, to in order to take that action anyway to begin with. But getting off that tangent there, you know, back to the getting inside the mind of your perfect customer avatar, 
you really want to ask important questions. You want to ask key questions that, you know, questions that will allow you to get inside your perfect customer avatar's mind. And really, a lot of those questions I have here in this awesome book called uh, The Ultimate Sales Funnel. And it's by Dan Kennedy, and he's a marketing genius. He's uh, really one of the best director response marketers in the world. And some of the questions that, that are really good for getting inside your perfect customer's mind is what keeps them awake at night? You know, indigestion boiling, up there's esophagus, eyes open, staring at the ceiling. That's a really good question that I share with uh, a lot of my prospects when I'm helping them figure out their target market and create their own perfect customer avatar because it really um, it allows you to really know what are their deepest fears. It, it, it helps you get inside their head better um, when you ask questions like, what are they afraid of? What are their biggest problems in their business today? What are their top three daily frustrations? Um, and then you wanna go the opposite too. You wanna know what do they secretly, ardently desire most? Um, do they have their own language? I don't really know how rele that, relevant that is. I guess maybe, uh, you know, if they speak a certain way, do they use certain terminology? Um, how do they talk to their friends? That's kind of where I think he's getting out with that. Who else is selling something similar to them? Who else is selling something, you know, similar to their, their own product and how? Um, who else has tried selling them something and how has that effort failed? These are just all questions straight from, uh, you know, The Ultimate Sales Funnel, which is a great book by Dan Kennedy. I'd recommend that. But... You know, tying into what I went over at the beginning of this video about developing the courage and getting over your fears and how that relates to building your own perfect customer avatar and getting inside the mind of your, you know, most perfect customer is you really, you really need to know that, you know, they have great fears and they have a lot of problems. And the fastest way you're going to get inside someone's head is by figuring out what those problems are and understanding them because people will always be more motivated to take action based off of fear rather than a gain of pleasure. And that's just the way humans, you know, psychology is just the way we're wired. So when you can figure out, you know, your own fears and problems and begin to overcome them, develop yourself personally and begin to solve your own problems, step out of your comfort zone, then you can start actually, you know, solving the problems of your perfect customer avatar because you've done the things that it takes to solve those problems, if that really makes sense. Um, another tip I'd say before I go is if you don't know who to market to online, I would say start with you. And it's really easy because you just need to write down five to ten reasons. What are the top reasons that you started doing your own online business, your own work from home business? And those are the reasons that you want to um, really you know, market to or keep in mind when you're marketing um, because those those are going to be the same reasons that your prospects will have and while they'll want to join your business. So hopefully this video helped you guys. I'm going to be uploading it to YouTube, one of my channels. Just uh, check it out there. And once again, this is uh, Corey Nice, and I will uh, see you guys next time. Peace out.